What if I told you that this picture was rendered without any volumetric fog, and that there was a way to easily replicate the look of volumetrics with nothing but simple compositing in Blender? I am going to show you how to do just that. You can see that there is no volumetrics in this scene, so there's no light rays or fog of any kind. So the first thing that you want to do is go over to Viewport Layer Properties and enable the Mist Pass. After you enable Mist Pass, go over to Material Preview, click on the drop down arrow, and switch it from Combine to Mist, and now we can see the Mist Pass. And since we enabled Mist Pass in the World Shading tab, you can now see that we have a tab for the Mist Pass, and you can mess around with the parameters of this. Because the fog would realistically be taking up the whole scene, we want to start it at zero. Because we could, if we started at any other point, then the whole scene wouldn't have fog, if that makes sense. So put it at zero, and bring the depth to anything that fits your scene. For mine, I found that 50 worked, but for yours it could be lower or higher. Now go back to the Layer Properties tab, and scroll down until you find Emission. And check Emission, because we're going to need that as well. So now that you have both of those checked, you can render your scene. I'm just going to minimize that screen and go over to compositing. Now the only thing I've done so far is add a viewer node so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing that we need is a mix node. We're going to change it from mix to add. We want to combine the image and the mist with this add node, so just plug it into the bottom and now you can see that we have our mist or our fog. But if you want to adjust a little more, you can add a color ramp node and put it in between and adjust the colors so if you want the whole thing to be a lot foggier, you can bring the white towards the black. To be a little more realistic, you could probably increase the brightness of the black and make it a little more foggy closer to the camera. To make the fog look a little more natural, you can adjust the color on your color ramp according to the lights in your scene. So in this case, since I have orange light coming in, I'm just going to make it a little bit orange. Not too much. I think I'll bring it in just a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much all on the mist. So now we're going to do some light rays. So to do that, you just need to add in a sunbeam node and plug the image into that. Duplicate this add node and put it right there and then put the sunbeams into the bottom of the add node. So nothing's changed yet because we have to increase the ray length. Now we have light rays. This X right here allows you to adjust the position of where the light rays are coming from so you want to try to line it up with where your sun might be coming from. So here I'm just going to put the X up in the top left corner and move it around until it sort of fits with the lighting I already have going on. Now here is where we have a problem with this sunbeam node. Since we just plug the image straight into it, it's taking every highlighted area of the image and stretching it out to where it makes a sunbeam. And we don't want that, we just want it to be where the windows are. We want the light to be coming through the windows like it would naturally do. So to fix this problem, we instead need to go back to our 3D viewport and we want to add in a plane. Bring that plane over to wherever you want your light rays to come from and rotate it however you need it. In this case I just need it to line up with all the windows and cover all the windows. So it's covering all the windows but it's also blocking the sunlight. So to fix that I'm going to uncheck this shadow box and now we can see the light coming in. Now what you need to do is make a new material for your plane and change it from principled to emission. And again, you don't have to do exactly what I do because you're gonna change the emission strength to whatever you need, but I'm just gonna do about three. And then also make it a little tan like I did my sunlight. Okay, now that we have our plane in place, we're going to re-render your image. Okay, now back in compositing, instead of putting the image in the sunbeams, we're going to use this emit pass and put it in the sunbeams. 
And now instead of taking all the highlights of the image, it's only making sunbeams from that emissive plane. So instead of getting the stretching on the monkey heads and every highlight in the scene, we're only getting it from the windows like it really should be. And now that I've fixed that, I'm going to try to line everything up just a little bit more. Now that we have fog and sunbeams in, we want to add in a glare node because if you've ever seen fog on a normal image with normal volumetric fog, it creates a bloom around all your light sources. So we want to replicate that, of course. So change the streaks to fog low. I just like to put the quality on high because why not, but you can do low or medium. Now this last step is completely optional, but you can add in a bokeh blur to the very end. Just bring the size down to like 0.05 something very low because you don't want a lot but I just think that fog tends to kind of blur things out a little bit so adding this blur kind of just makes everything look a little better in my opinion but you don't have to have it because you may not like it in your scene okay so that's pretty much it you might have to adjust certain things accordingly to what you're trying to make but that's basically all you need to do so, hope you learned something for this, I hope you can use this, and thank you so much for watching.